All right. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make this out of this. I mean, obviously, you can tell there's a bit of a size difference, but, like, this is for, like, a mild adult. This is for, like, an adult, because I have, like, a, an adult. This is, this is the Arizona Mantis. I actually bought this from the store, but I'm going to make, I'm going to make a D, I'm going to make one fresh from this little container. I'm going to walk you along the process and hope it'll work. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to get rid of, this is just an old super my container I have from all my lizards. You've probably seen my all my animals video by now, cause you know, and you know that I have a couple lizards. Or I used to have three. Now I'm down to two and some Amazon milk frogs. But, <clears throat> yeah. I, I, I'm down to two and some Amazon milk frogs, but still. Shrek unfortunately got a parasite, so now I just have my chameleon Ken and Freckles my leopard gecko. So, first things first, on the way to getting this. I am going to get the chainsaw dust and all the, I'm going to get all the chainsaw dust out of this. So I'll see you when I do that. I'm back. I got the super container. By the way, don't do this for like your full grown. It should be at least three times the size of it. It should be at least three times the size, three times this, three times tall as your praying mantis is long and twice as long. In twice as wide as your praying mantis is long so remember this is for a baby <clears throat> prop this probably shouldn't be even you probably shouldn't even keep you pro probably <clears throat> probably the only mantis I wouldn't keep in this as a baby is like the bigger species like the giant ones <clears throat> like for example the giant Asian mantis I like I wouldn't keep that in here because they're gonna be like this big <clears throat> at a baby and that and that's just that's just that's not gonna that's not that's too big. So make sure it's three times the size. So now that I have this and this, hi. So now that I have this, oh my, I'm I'm going to personally use paper towels. So it's easier to sort like for the babies. It's easier to, for like the small pregnancies. It's easier to track down the food. So I'm going to use a little piece of toilet paper or paper towel. Now I'm back with this little piece of toilet paper. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it down on the top like this. Now I'm going to just put my fist in and start to get it tucked in to this little container here. Get the corners. Now I'm going to miss this real quick so it stays all down. I'm going to grab my... When you live with a bunch of animals, you have two missing one. You have two missing bottles: a big one and a little one. So I'm gonna use this little one. I'm just gonna spray in there a little bit to get it all situated. Now it's kind of down, and I totally just ripped up the. Now I'm gonna get this one, and I'm gonna stick that one in there too. Now I should have, and now I have a little something. Kind of looking like this. Holding humidity really well. And now I have this little paper towel piece right here. And now I'm going to get um, a stick and some fake plant. Believe me, I have a lot of fake plants. Just trust me on this one. But this is pretty much your substrate layer. And, event, and before you get your praying mantis in here, Make sure that it dries for the most part. Because you don't want to like drenched when you get your praying mantis in there. But I'm going to take some of this. And I'm just going to wipe down the sides. So but now I'm going to get a stick and some fake plastic plant. I'm sorry I didn't get to film it. But now we have two praying mantises. Macy. I mean, no, this is Mandy. So, Mandy is in here. That's Mandy. Everything's set up the same, except I didn't put, except I didn't cut out the top, and I'm using coconut fiber. And I did change out this cage, because I made a mistake cutting the top. 
And then we have Macy in this one. Looks like Macy actually just caught a. F Looks like Macy actually just caught a fly. Fruit fly. And, and I just fed Mandy. I actually just got her. And actually, you know my pet Green and Old Shrek. Well, we have him back. What happened was when we tried to release him, he was gone for the first couple of days, but now, but he kept coming back. So I just got a, so I just got a box and yeah, we didn't get the chance to clean out his enclosure, but I just got a box, put him in and now he's back in and I think he likes it. He's getting fed and crickets on a regular basis. And I think he's doing pretty good. He has water. He has sleeping spots. He has free UV. Like for as a matter of fact, it's actually really, it's actually really bad weather. At, oh well, I uh, it was really bad weather. It was bad weather this morning. It was like it was raining, and now it's like beautiful blue skies. I don't know, it's great. But that's just how Texas works. One second, it's completely miserable. The next, it's beautiful. That's just how Texas summer is. But, yeah. I think that's going to be all. So, yeah. I'll report to you. I'll probably have this video posted by the time, that this, by the time this is done. But, yeah. So, I think that's going to be it. I'm pretty satisfied. I got two mantises. Macy. Macy is in the big one. And then Mandy's in the small one. You know a big case of irony? Macy is is smaller and in the biggest one. And Mandy is, is bigger and in the smaller one. By the way, it's all good. Because it's... She's still not big. But actually, as a matter of fact... You want to know... Do you want to see something? Oh, hey, Freckles. Hey, bud. He wants to get fed. I'll put in some clips of that at the end. But you know something? One of my sea worms decided to pupate. So, yeah. I'm going to go get the tweezers. Hey, buddy. Aw. He's so cute. I'm going to go get the... I'm going to go get the, get the tweezers to feed him. Alrighty. Well, you are going to get fed. Oh, my God. You're so cute. Actually... I'm going to give him another one. It's actually, oh, he fell on the table already. Oh, you cannot escape. Get all that stuff off him. Get all the chainsaw dust. Let's put him down and the beast will rise. Three. Oh, is he not going to eat it? Oh, big God underneath the mat. Are you kidding me? All right, that's going to be fun to clean up. There's probably like 20 underneath the mat, I'm not going to lie. We have so many underneath the mat. Oh, you can't escape. You cannot escape. Oh my god, I got so many there. Alrighty, so you... You get fed. Oh yeah. Did you see it? Boom. Life... Living life with lizards. Is also known as living life... A little bit to the least. Alrighty. I got two in there. I'm gonna put one down. Got him. Now, buddy, you ready for the second? Oh, okay. You ready for the second one? Oh, that one got into his hide. I'll get it later. Oh, pupation one. That's pretty special. Now I'm pupating. In about a week or so, I am going to, oh, check it out. This one just molted. That's why it's so white. That one just molted. That's why it's so white. You are dead. You. One is dead. Wait, what? And several are fed. One is dead. And you get fed. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't really get him there. But, I need to keep that pupation, 
I need to keep the one during pew. I need to keep that one at the top because it's pupating. Because otherwise it'll get turned into a beetle and I'll never even know it existed. So I need to keep it at the top. So I'm a, yeah. I have a dead one, a pupation one, a pupating one. Let's get this guy. And boom goes the dynamite. Boom. Another gone, another one down. Hey, buddy, you enjoying this snack? Seriously, I can never get him to eat on camera. Like, no joke, he never eats on camera. Alrighty. You want to eat it? Hey, what? There we are. Now we're getting some movement on him. Let's not go this way. Let's go in front of the leopard gecko. Oh, boom! You are such a cute lizard. People say that lizards... People say that lizards aren't very... People say that lizards are make terrible pets. And some do. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my chameleon, but he is extremely hard to take care of. He requires daily maintenance. I mean, I love my chameleon, like I said, but he, but he is extremely hard to take care of. So, yeah. That's the only... That's one of the downsides. Where the heck... Where the heck are these super worms? Oh. Oh. Oh, we got him. Got him. Boom. Now, let's roll. Let's roll with the leopard gecko. Leopard Gecko, launch! I think I'm gonna call it quits. Otherwise, this clip's gonna be twice as long as the video. All right, so see you for now. And just like I posted, just, I don't know, just 